on this edition of Check 6 Aviation, we're back in the yard, continuing the Airplane Factory version 1.0 build. All right, my friends, we're back at it. We're actually home this time. Man, three months on the road, and this is the first time I've had to any significant time off in a long time. And it feels good, let me tell you. It feels good to get back to this thing, but we've been invaded. You might see me holding this. You'll see why in a moment. But uh, let me show you what we've done so far. Well, you know we've got all of the insulation done on the outside, and I've got the back paneling up. I've got a, I need to go ahead and touch up the primer on this panel here. Yeah, which I'll get that taken care of before heading out on Monday. Uh, and then we've got the front paneling up here. So yeah, it's, it's insulated on all four, but check this out. <laughs> this is the invasion force right here. Found these guys just set up shop just in the last 48 hours and look at how far they've gotten with this oh my god plus I've got two others back here the Red Hornets right down there and actually that's not a Red Hornet wasp that's just a regular wasp but uh, we're about to piss them off here and kill them because they are being evicted. Now, I did have the doors on and I found another one here that uh, before I took the doors off to go ahead and cut the door openings out and I was able to use a pitchfork and get that off successfully without killing them but uh yeah wasps you are not a welcome here so that takes care of that let's get back to work now i did try to do this with my spray gun and decided that the results were less than stellar shall we say which is why i went back to using a roller yeah it takes a little bit longer but the results speak for themselves in so many ways and if you haven't seen my shenanigans video from the visit to sun and fun then i would highly suggest you do so because i had a chance i did get a, an interview with the people over at grex usa and they said well yeah there's you have to set your spray gun up accordingly now word to the wise if you're painting in your favorite black t-shirt with white paint this is not something that you want to do, yeah. especially with a roller uh, when you're painting overhead. All right. All right, so yesterday I was doing a little bit of work out here. Um, I'll show you a little bit of what I did here. Uh, I went ahead and got started on the side because I've got the front and back done. Uh, well, not, comp not done, but I got them started uh, right there. See, I got, just got the little bit down there to do. Uh, I got another section of paneling that I can put on the side. I got to get it primed. Uh, let's see here. I've got to hang that one. That'll be done here in a moment. In a little bit here, I'll show you that. That's real simple. Just put it up there, all against the the top of the rafters there. Uh, the top of the, the soft, the yeah, soffit, and uh, just screw it in place. That's it. But uh, yeah, I will go ahead and you see the, the the where the primer didn't get in between. That will be taken care of. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to show that or not because well, yeah, you 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 know how to paint, I'm sure. And I've got the the little squishy here. <laughs> yeah, it is Father's Day. 2022 and she is she's a beautiful little handful I, could, I, I have to say but in a good way and so 
like Mike Patey says, back to work. And here we go with the install of the board. Yeah, it's a little tricky. I had to go ahead and get some wood to kind of prop it up. Ultimately though, it did take another pair of hands. And here's my wife getting into the action, two screws, and I can do the rest of it myself. So that is all with that. And uh, yeah, we went ahead and knocked some things out, got the other one cut to size, not shown in this video, but we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. I don't, I'm not gonna show it in, the, in any subsequent videos, but yeah, after dark, the work continued. Here we go with some drywall action on the inside. Very important step. I still have to get the moisture barrier completed on the opposite side of this piece of drywall. Zip, zip, zip with the yeah, with the saw for the cutout after getting it uh, traced out. Uh, didn't get it completely flush. That's why you see me getting the saw there and tracing you know, getting it really close to the door you know a little fine tuning all right well this is the time when i really wish that i had the inside electrical hooked up because i could really use the lights in here to see and still have access to my extension cord that you saw was plugged in powering the lights Unfortunately, I can't power the lights and the drill at the same time. I could get a cordless drill. As a matter of fact, I do have one. I could probably use that instead. Um, so yeah, uh, it's all about having the right resources. Uh, I do see my, okay, yeah, my little extent, my extender here. Um, I also have in here somewhere a uh, another extension cord, like a little 25 foot uh, retractable extension cord. It's probably on the shelves here behind the other piece of uh, drywall that is going to go up there. I'm going to clear that out and yeah, kind of uh, tidy up a bit, a bit here, get the vacuum out and uh, we'll go ahead and prime that other piece of uh, paneling. I'm not going to show that because it's a little bit repetitive. And get that up on the wall tomorrow morning. That shouldn't take long at all. So back into the light. So until tomorrow morning, we'll be back out here. Let's get some rest and uh, I'm not going to end this video here yet, but yeah, you know, just to kind of document what I'm do what I'm doing, because uh, I'm I am doing this kind of on the down low. Uh, technically, I'm supposed to have permits, but you know, like I said, I'm doing it on the down low. Uh, the city doesn't really come around much, but in case they do, that's the reason why I'm documenting the build of this workshop here. So uh, that in case they can find, you know, they want to find out what was done to build this, if it was built to code or not, uh, which by all accounts from construction friends or friends in the, in the construction industry, yeah, this is a solidly built job. Uh, he, as a matter of fact, I've, I've had one guy say that he wishes that he could get his guys to yeah, build like this, you know, but hey, ooh, found another invasion force. Good thing I've got the lights. So let's go kill some wasps. On a little bit of a happier note though, Vans Aircraft just released a teaser of the RV-15. It has been long awaited and we actually know what it's going to look like, or at least a somewhat. We have visuals of the prototype as you see in the background here. I'll be learning all about it from the Vans people at Oshkosh. So come and see me, come and say hi, uh, come and see the RV-15 at that. In general, just come see a whole bunch of airplanes because after all, airplanes are cool. As is always the case whenever I'm home, it's inevitable that I run out of time 
before it's time to go back out on the road. You see me here in the Kenworth, back out on the road. And so, yes, I ran out of time to, between family demands and getting the project done, uh, further along, um, financial pressures, hey, it is what it is. We all deal with things in the way that we deal with them. And, you know, I, I know that it'll get done when it gets done. Uh, a little bit of update, I am going to be at Oshkosh this year, 2022. So uh, come along and say hi. I will be uh, at the Vans Aircraft Community Get Together on Sunday, the 24th at 5 p.m. I'll also be roaming around in the grounds. Uh, one of the next video that I make after this will be completely Oshkosh related. The, probably the next few videos that I make after this will be completely Oshkosh related. Um, I'm going to do an, a special video on planning your visit to Oshkosh because let's face it, it is a massive event. It's, it's like the granddaddy of, the, of all aviation events. And it is easy to get into a situation where there's multiple things that you want to go to go see multiple uh, topics that you want to hear people speak on and the biggest tip I could share well I'll share that for the in the next video so if you like aviation content give us a like subscribe you'll see that little icon in the middle that's the easiest way to do it and if you are yeah, wanting to see some of our other videos, you can click the, the box right here. And if you want to see a video that is you know, YouTube suggested, then just click over here. And for that, be well, be safe, and always check your six. Peace.